So today's video, as the title says, dominating the fretboard with the least amount of movement, right? And the song we're gonna look over today to help with that is Sugary, which is B A E, right? Right, played here, here. Right, it's a great song, B A E, as the progression, right? So, our goal for today is how can we maneuver these three scales with the least amount of movement, right? Well, first, we have to realize that this is a B mixolydian song. We can think as B as the one chord, A as the flat seven, and E as the four chord, right? Next, let's identify what it means to be a Mixolydian scale. Mixolydian is a major scale with a flat 7 degree, meaning in the key of B, no A sharp, it would now become A natural, right? So that looks like this. B, C sharp, D sharp, B, F sharp, G sharp, A, B. Flat seven. Right? We can play with our root being the B on the second fret of the A string. And right here, fourth fret of the D, G, and B string, we have our triad. Five root third degree. Right? Triads, as you guys know from your the key to life. Next, let's look at this E major scale. Well, luckily for us, E major and B mixolydian share the exact same notes. So if we're starting from this E on the seventh fret of the A string, we can play E, F sharp, G sharp, A, B, C sharp, D sharp, E. Right? We have a triad as well. Again, triad's key to life. Right here. Ring finger, sixth fret of the D string. That's our G sharp, our third degree. Index finger, fourth fret G string. That's our fifth degree. Middle finger, fifth fret B string. That's our root. So you have our E and our B right there. Triads. Barely any movement so far. Next up, let's look at this A chord. This A chord presents us one little issue. The D natural in the key of A is not in this B mixolydian scale or this E major scale. We have to make that a D sharp. Right? So now it'll be A, B, C sharp, D sharp, E, F sharp, G sharp, A. triad as well ring finger seventh fret d string middle finger sixth fret g string that's our third degree and index finger fifth fret of the b string that's our fifth degree so we have our b e and a chord right in this little four fret box from the fourth fret to the seventh fret we can do everything, right? We can play our B major scale like this, right? There's our B mixolydian. We can play our E major scale from right here. Then we can play our A modified scale with the D sharp right here.
So the benefit that that has is when you're soloing, saying everything you want with the least amount of movement right now let's check out another position we can play the exact same scales right let's go to the root b on the seventh fret of the low e string and again we'll play here a b mixolydian scale triad ring finger ninth fret d string middle finger eighth fret g string that's our third degree index finger seventh fret b string that's our fifth degree now remember again b mixed lydian and e major are the exact same scale so we can play e major right here with the root being seventh fret of the a string triad, 9th fret of the D, G, B string, right? You can also move this E if you want, right here. So at that point you're switching positions. Now this A scale, we can look at this A from this root of the 7th fret of the D string and still play it A, B, C sharp, D sharp, right? D, F sharp, G sharp, A. You can play our A triad up here. Or you can play our A triad up here. It's really up to you. The cool thing is also since this A is on the 7th fret of the D string, we can also descend down to this A on the low E string. We go A, G sharp, F sharp, E, D sharp, C sharp, B, A. Right? So again, if we're to play this exact same progression, soloing wise, we can talk like this. something just like that. So now let's move up higher up the fretboard and check out this B triad, which would be root B on the 14th fret of the A string, third degree 
right on the 13th fret of the D string. Fifth degree, this F sharp index finger, 11th fret of the G string. And root again with our middle finger, 12th fret of the B string. Right? We can do our E right here. Ring finger, 14th fret D string, middle finger, 13th fret G string, index finger, 12th fret B string. We have B and E. Now our A we can do right here, barring the 14th fret of the D, G, and B string. Now let's look at the scales, our figure. We can do our B mixed leading right here. Right? We can do our E major right here. starting from this 12th fret A string. Remember that D sharp. Right, so again, in this figure right here, we have our B, E, and now our three scales are the exact same, which lends us to stuff like this. Very like BB King. if you want to the same octave up here. Right? So by seeing these triads everywhere, you know where all the chord shapes are. And by seeing these three scales as the exact same thing by modifying this A major scale to have the D sharp as long as you see B, C sharp, D sharp, E, F sharp, G sharp, A, B, anywhere on the fretboard you can solo over the same progression. It's like I always say as you know the notes on the fretboard, you can pinpoint the notes that have to be played over the song, right? So you're playing B, A, E, and you hit this note, this A, flat seven, it works. You hit F sharp, it works. You hit G sharp, it works, right? D sharp. Perfect one. Right? The world is your oyster as you see notes and not patterns, right? Yes, we looked at how we can play these scales, but we also looked at what makes these scales all the same. And that's just by adjusting, in this case, this A to this D sharp. So, I hope that was helpful and hope that made sense. <laughs>
I was doing transcriptions today and Sugary was a great one that is a great example of how in the Grateful Dead world in the mixed Lydian case that you can adjust one scale in this case the A scale to have the D sharp and then the sol- the chords in the solo progression now have all the exact same notes. Now it's up to you to make your own solo and how do you approach the root third or the fifth in whatever case to outline the movement in this solo technique. So if you were to solo and take the band out of context, you could still hear the changes happening. So that is today's video. I hope you enjoyed it. If it made sense, please press like, comment, and subscribe, and I'll see you guys next time.